Hi, uh, I am Padmanav and uh, I uh, cleared the Civil Services Examination 2015 with an all India rank of 194 and my optional subject was Mathematics. Uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, I graduated in Mechanical Engineering from IIT Guwahati in 2013 and uh, after my graduation I started working at a uh, multinational company for around 5-6 to six months but uh, I was not fully satisfied with the job and so I left it, I quit the job and I uh, went back home and it was during this period that I started to think about what I should do uh, for my career or what step should I take and uh, for I mean, after, about, after deliberating for about 4-5 months I came to the conclusion that I will uh, try uh, if I, I will try for the civil services examination so uh, it was around uh, July 2014 that I came to Delhi and started my preparation. I joined a coaching institute in Delhi for my GS preparation and uh, till then I had not decided uh, on my optional subject and uh, I had heard from my seniors that uh, choosing the optional subject is one of the most crucial steps to, uh, for you to ensure your success in the civil services examination. And uh, I was uh, torn between a number of choices like uh, many people suggest to me that you should probably take some humanity subjects like geography, political science because these subjects have a lot of overlap with the general studies syllabus. Uh, but uh, I was a bit scared too because uh, I had never studied these subjects before, now, neither in my graduation nor uh, even in my class uh, 11 and 12. Therefore I was not very sure of it. And in the back of my mind I also had the, the thought that uh, why shouldn't um, why don't I take mathematics because I'm from an engineering background and I was, mathematics was one of my favorite subjects even in my schooling therefore uh, I had a gut feeling that uh, I should choose mathematics but the uh, response I got from uh, some of my seniors like uh, when I told them that uh, should I uh, take mathematics these responses were not very positive uh, they said that the course is very vast or that there is no overlap with GS so you might face some problems but uh, still I uh, finally uh, settled on mathematics and took up the uh, took it up as my optional subject now the next step was uh, how to get some guidance because mathematics was not my core subject in my graduation I had done some mathematics uh, as in my graduation uh, in engineering but this was not the entire syllabus which is required in UPSC therefore uh, the, the time came for me to seek some guidance and mostly through the internet I came to know about uh, IMS the Institute of Mathematical Sciences and I came and inquired and they told me that they have a classroom program where you can join and complete the entire syllabus within a very short span of time therefore I joined IMS uh, in, in, uh, in around uh, September 2014 and the course uh, uh, carried on for about 5-6 months and during this period um, the entire syllabus was covered and I must say that it helped me uh, tremendously because uh, when I started mathematics I did not know uh, what was even the syllabus or where I will get the, uh, the entire thing in a consolidated form but when I started the classes um, means the entire material that was provided to me uh, uh, gave all the material at one place. I did not have to go around searching for some uh, for different books on different chapters. Everything was consolidated. Therefore, I took very less time uh, in preparation, and uh, I completed the entire syllabus in about five to six months. And uh, looking back, I uh, feel that my choice, my decision to take up mathematics was one of the best decisions during my journey of civil services because I was handsomely rewarded for my uh, hard work and um, in the civil services examination 2015 my marks in optional was 284 which, which is pretty decent uh, considering the time I had put in and this was my first attempt therefore um, I had to prepare both GS and uh, optionals together and uh, cons considering the amount of time I devoted uh, this was a pretty decent mark and uh, this was all because of mathematics and I must say that uh, my rank of 194 in my first attempt can be an almost entirely credited to my mathematics optional and finally in con conclusion I would uh, just like to suggest to all my future uh, aspirant friends that uh, if any one of you have a, have a background in mathematics for example if you are if you have graduated in engineering or if you like mathematics in your schooling or graduation you should uh, and you are uh, aiming for the civil services examination you should definitely uh, consider mathematics as an optional because it really pays off if you put in hard work and also uh, good guidance is available uh, uh, means uh, in the form of the uh, coaching center in IMS 
therefore uh, and it will pay off you pay you off handsomely therefore i suggest that uh, you can choose mathematics optional and you can get very good results uh, i hope these uh, these suggestions were help of help to someone who is really deciding on their optionals and uh, is preparing for civil services and that's all i had to say thank you and all the best